10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ignition. Lift off. Vehicle is pitching downrange. And there is successful liftoff of Falcon 9 carrying our HR resupply mission uh, on a Dragon spacecraft to the International Space Station. Now we're currently in a what we call the throttle bucket, and that's because in about three seconds we have an event called maximum dynamic pressure. second engine start of the second stage is Merlin vacuum engine and then the first stage is going to conduct a boost back burn followed by a dragon nose cone deploy. Now main engine cutoff or MECO is where all nine Merlin 1D engines on the first stage will shut down. Followed shortly after that is stage separation and then a few seconds later the Merlin vacuum engine on the second stage will ignite to boost dragon into low earth orbit. In fact uh, during ascent you heard the call out for engine chill-in of that Merlin vacuum engine. So again, coming up in about 10 seconds, Miko, stage separation, second engine start, and then stage one boost back burn. Miko. Stage separation confirmed. And back ignition. Stage one boost back startup. And you can hear the cheers behind me. Uh, that's a, you're looking at a successful start of the Merlin vacuum engine on your right screen and the boost back maneuver on your left hand screen of the first stage. Uh, shortly here, we should have nose cone deploy off of Dragon, uh, and we may be able to see that on the right hand screen. And there goes the nose cone on that right-hand screen. Uh, we no longer need it now that we're out of the densest parts of the Earth's atmosphere. Stage one boost back shutdown. Both vehicles are following nominal trajectories. So in order to make its way back to landing zone one, the Falcon 9's first stage is going to execute a series of three burns. The first of which is the boost back burn. We've just seen that Acquisition shut down. Signal Bermuda. It's meant to slow the rocket down and orient it for re-entry. It also helps Falcon 9 laterally return to the landing zone. Liftoff was only a few minutes ago, but we travel a significant distance horizontally that we want to recoup. Shortly after that first burn initiated, you see some of our titanium grid fins. There's four of them that are located near the top of the first stage. They're deployed at this time and help guide the rocket during descent once the atmosphere is thicker. Now, following that boost back burn, our second burn is executed. It's our entry burn. It's coming up in about two and a half minutes. It helps the vehicle slow itself down before hitting the dense part of the atmosphere. Failing to perform this burn would put unnecessary strain on the Falcon 9. And lastly, our third burn, the landing burn, happens just before touchdown and takes the booster down softly to land and our four landing legs also deploy during this final burn.
For those of you just joining, it's T plus four minutes, 55 seconds. And you can see our second stage on its way to drop off Dragon to its targeted orbit on the way to the International Space Station. And on the left-hand side here, you see our Falcon 9 first stage on its way to Cape Canaveral, Florida, landing zone one for a successful landing. Our first stage had an on-time launch at 6.01 p.m. Eastern Standard Both Time just a few minutes ago. Nominal trajectories. We had a nominal ascent and ideal stage separation. We just performed the first of three burns of the first stage, a boost back burn, and we're a little more than a minute away from that second burn, the entry burn. And so you see the second stage of the engine is still burning bright, uh, but on the first stage we've used most of our fuel during liftoff, and we only have so much RP-1 and liquid oxygen uh, to make those three burns. So instead of firing all nine Merlin-1D engines, we're only going to fire three of those for the boost back burn and entry burn, uh, the center Merlin engine and the two perimeter engines. We're just about 20 seconds away from that entry burn beginning, and it'll last about 30 seconds all the way to T plus seven minutes. Stage one entry burn startup. We've heard the call out. You can see it visually. Our second entry burn has begun and will last for just a few more seconds. Stage one entry burn shutdown. Two burns down, one to go. The landing burn is our Both last vehicles burn. vehicles continue to follow nominal trajectories. It'll occur in about 30 seconds, and it lasts for about 30 seconds all the way until landing. FDS is saved. You can see Cape Canaveral coming into view. In terms of fuel, fuel conservation, we only fire one Merlin engine on this final burn. Engine number nine, the center engine. Stage one, entry transonic. Our landing burn has begun. Stage two has entered terminal guidance. You see the landing, landing legs are deploying. Deploy. Falcon and 9 has landed, landing off there is doing procedure 11.100. And the Falcon has landed. Congratulations to everyone here at SpaceX for another successful landing. For those of you keeping score, this is our 44th successful first stage recovery. This is our secondary mission at SpaceX. It's our commitment to vehicle reasonability. Back to our primary done. mission.